Hey guys, welcome back to another Creative Tap tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to speed up or slow down footage with inside of After Effects. Now, I've just got this footage in here. It's like a uh, sailboat shot. Um, so you can the, the link to this is in the description. I'm just going to turn this to half resolution just for now. So it's quicker playing back. Um, but yeah, the link to this is in the description, so you can download this if you want to or work with what you want to. Um, now, quick thing to notice. Um, this is 59.94 frames per second. If you just click it, it'll show you. Or if you just pull this out, it'll show you by here as well. So that's you know technically 60 frames per second. Um, now the thing to remember is most of the time you'll be working with footage either at 24, 25, or 30 frames per second, depending on what type of um, shot you're working with and where in the world it was filmed. Um, over in the UK, we're using 25 frames per second mostly, sometimes 24 for film. Um, and then 30 frames per second tends to be uh, most other places. Uh, anyway, um, so basically, if this is, um, this is actually shot at 60 frames per second, and so if we make it twice the length to make it slower, it's going to be playing back at 30 frames per second, which is the normal frame rate. So we've actually got a lot more frames per second to work with here. Um, but anyway, um, just, just nice to note that. The way we can slow and speed this footage up is if we right-click the layer, come up to Time, and then you've got something called Time Stretch, okay? So there's two ways we can do this. Uh, you've got Stretch Factor, so 100 is kind of like the baseline, so it'll play back as it was kind of shot. If we were to put this to 200, basically this doubles the length of it, so it slows it down. Um, so you can see the duration changes from well, changed from, so if we put it back to 100, uh, it shows you the duration. So it's currently a 30, 30 second clip, you can see. Um, if we put it to 200, uh, it'll go to one minute, because that's double the length. Now if we change this, so 100 is 30 seconds. Uh, I've clicked enter. There we go, let's come back. Time stretch, so yeah, 100 is 30 seconds, but if we put it to 50, you can see it's half the length, 15 seconds. Now, if you want the clip to be a specific length, you can also do it this way. Let's say we want it to be 10 seconds. So that's going to be about 33%. So let's let's click OK, and let's play back the first couple amounts of seconds. Let's just let that preview in, and then so I'll show you what it looks like. It's fairly smooth. We've just sped it up a little bit. So let's play that back. So you can see it's quite a fast shot. It looks as if it's been sped up, but you know it's going to because there's organic stuff in there like waves. So let's undo this. Control Z or Command Z on a Mac. Now, let's play, I'll show you what it was playing like before, so we can see the kind of um, longevity and the pace of it. So you can see what we're working with. There you go. This is so. This is the speed of the clip. Now, I'm showing you how to um, speed it up. Let's let's slow it down. It's the exact same process. So right click time, time stretch, and let's make this, uh, let's bring it to 200, so that it'll be twice as slow, so let's click OK, now let's give that a playback, and you'll see that we're working with something, you can see a little bit of um, jitteriness in it, oh, that's smoother now, it's cashing in, yeah, so that looks slower, and that's really working now, it's not got that jitter anymore, it was just because it was still previewing in. So um, what you'll notice is now that now that we've done this, um, the clip goes beyond our composition settings. So to combat that, you can just go to composition, composition settings, and I think it was one minute and six frames it went up to. So I'll just change the time code in here to one minute and six frames. Maybe like one minute two frames by looking at that, but. Um, Yes, you can see that it goes all the way up to here now. So that's how you do it. That's how you speed up or slow down a clip inside of After Effects. Time, time stretch, and I will show you how to kind of keyframe the speed in another video where I look at time remapping. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in another tutorial. Um, just just um, if, if you could, if you want to subscribe, that would help me out quite a lot. Leave a like for the video if it helped you, or leave a comment, that would be great. Um, but yeah, there's other videos, so check them out, and hopefully I'll see you in another one. Cheers.